Hi there, my name is Denny Gam, and today we're playing Valheim. How's it going, everybody? I hope you are having a great day. Um, we are about to start a brand new playthrough of Valheim, a game I have played a bit before, but not... I haven't gotten very far. Um, so, I'd like to see if I can get through it, get through the story, um, get a little farther into the game, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm, I really like this game. And I'm really uh, curious to see how it uh, progresses beyond what I have already uh, played a little bit. Basically just played kind of the beginning. Um, not to give too much away, but it's uh, a game sort of about defeating these sort of bosses. And I have defeated one of them. So not very far. Pretty much just the beginning. Um, so let's see if we can get a little farther into this game and do a little bit of uh, Valheiming. <laughs> Um, I already created my character here, but we have not yet created a uh, new game. So let's go ahead and start our game out and see what we've got in the world of Valheim. Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial aged pa ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Cool. Here you go, buddy. Time to be reborn in Valheim. <laughs> oh, I can actually uh, look around. Whoa, nice looking bird. I love like the like blue and red accents. That you can see when the lightning flashes. That is very cool. All right, put me down anywhere. <laughs> you are wet. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we are in Valheim. I am wet, and uh, oh, hello. Who are you, Hugin? What's up, my dude? Welcome to the Tenth World, warrior. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay. Cool. What's this do? Oh. Well met. Hello, Hugin. This stone is a Vegvasir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ikthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Okay. Vegvasir, Ikthir. Register location. I will. Uh, oh. Not far away. <laughs> cool. Okay. So here's a map. I guess this is where I flew in on on that big old big old eagle lady. And uh, here's our little doodad. Our little our little stones. So Ikthir is not far. Just over here, I guess. Oh wow, like literally just here. Skill improved run. Hail, warrior. Calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary, though. The Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Alright, I can't do anything, any of that yet. Because I can do nothing. What's this say? Runestone. Cool. Hunt his kin. Alright. 
Uh, there's a big old stag at the top. So I can only assume we need to hunt deer. But here we are in the world of Valheim. Um, like I said, I have played this game a little bit. So I sort of know what I'm doing. But it's been a little while, so it's going to be... It's going to be a little bit of a kicking the rust off. Trying to remember exactly what to do. There's a deer. Um, I can crouch. Oh, crouching takes uh, like a stamina bar. Or something. Or no, maybe that's something else. There is a stamina bar down at the bottom. What's that little white bar then? Oh, wait, is that how visible I am? Maybe that's how visible I am. Okay. Um, doing stuff, obviously, as you can see, gives me... Uh, um, skills in various stuff. So my sneak is now already at three, which is nice. Um, let's see what we got here. We got some raspberries. Cool. Oh, I got. I learned some new stuff already. Apparently, I learned how to make a torch from picking raspberries. That's weird. Tab. Cool. Crafting. Uh. Whoa. 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 Friendly fire enabled. That's not really what I meant to do. Um, skills, Valheim Compendium, okay. I don't actually have anything in my crafting. Oh, no, I got a, got a rag tunic? Is that what you're telling me? Walk off, walk on. Oh, okay. Cool. What's up, Hegan? What do you, what more do you have to say? A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay. I will. I suppose. Um. Oh, there's a warthog. Warthogs or wild boars, I guess, is maybe what they're called in this game. Jump! Jump! What, Hugin? Hail, warrior. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser, lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Cool. All right, uh, can I pick branches up? I sure can. Cool, new material wood, new crafting recipe, club. <laughs> Neat. But I want an axe. So, a club might not be a bad idea, just in case a wild boar decides that I'm going to be target practice. There you go. Stone axe and a hammer as well. All right. Let's sort of keep picking stuff up here. Um, I'm going to have to build a home at some point. I probably don't want to do that too far away. Um, I don't know, we could maybe just sort of pick up where these people left off. <laughs> Amazing. I might be able to destroy this if I want. Uh, are we gonna be able to have a problem, Piggy? I'm just picking up stone. Don't mind. No, don't mind me. I don't know if they're immediately aggressive. I can't remember. Uh, I may also want to walk a little further afield than right there to find my home. But this is not a bad place to start. What's this? This is cool. Skeletal remains, I will pick those up. New material, bone fragments. Oh right, can I equip this? Unequipping. Oh, I'm naked. Okay. So there's not like a character screen. Dandelion, nice. Another branch. I love it. Some more stone. Okay. I think this will get me started. So let's hang out around the stones here for a minute. Um, until we can figure out a better place to live. But this seems relatively safe <laughs> at the moment. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and craft a stone axe. Five wood, four stone. I've got that. Amazing. There we go. Cool. Now, presumably, we can start chopping down trees. Yeah. 
Can I just hold it? Sure can. It takes stamina. So I have to wait until my stamina bar fills back up to take another swing. Wow. There we go. Cool. New material resin, new crafting recipes. Neato. And now there's a big old tree, a log. So I assume I keep chopping it. Wood cutting is up to five. <laughs> Boy. Oh, hi. Grayling, what's your deal? Uh, is there a dodge? There's a block. Ow. Leave me alone, guys. That is not what I wanted to do. I don't know what that did. That was like a strong hit, maybe? Some of that is kind of what I wanted to do. Cool. Um, yeah, okay. So we've got an axe. We've got a little bit more wood. Oh, no. I have none wood. Oh, right, because I was interrupted by the graylings, apparently. Whatever those guys are. So I think if I keep chopping this... Goodness gracious. <laughs> the stamina bar is... Brutal. Okay. Cool. Now I have a li I hear something. More? Or maybe those are deer. That might have been deer that I was hearing. <laughs> Not graylings. <laughs> Hi, deer. Cool. Very cool. Okay, I don't actually have to pick it up by hand. Uh, the wood that falls out of there. Can I break this? Oh, I can't. Nice. This one was just on the ground already. Amazing. Okay. So, what else can I do here? Because since all my recipes come from picking up new stuff, I assume I should get some new stuff. I'm going to make a club real quick while this guy's rolling up. Come here, buddy. What do you think about a real weapon? Bonk. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Get out of here, you jerks. These guys are the worst. Okay. Um, so I made a club. Now I want to make a hammer. Uh, with this in your hand, you can raise high walls and mighty fortifications. Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was a... I thought it was to whack stuff. Oh, there we go. All sorts of all sorts of building stuff now. I see. Okay, so I can make a campfire. I can make a workbench. And that's pretty much it. Other other stuff. Woods wood stacks and wood uh, stone piles. Cooking station. Okay. Now we're talking. Hugin, what's up? Um, okay. I guess if I have the hammer, I can't talk to him. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty fortification or mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Okay, I will do that. I feel like I feel like maybe I shouldn't be right by the stones. Wait, what's that? this on the mini map that looks like something different than just grass and junk let me eat one of these real quick seven else 20 stamina I assume that's max oh is there water down here oh cool okay yeah see maybe here Maybe around here is where I want to build my little, my first little home. We got some fish. I feel like, uh, 
being near water is going to be nice. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's necessary. <laughs> Alright, we got some land fish, apparently. That's good to know. Wow, look at them go. Uh, is this going to be a problem that I'm running out of stamina while I'm in the water? It is hurting me, I think. That was weird. Okay. But yeah, maybe around here somewhere. I also like... I don't know if the graylings are going to come after me from the water. Oh, there's a little house there. Maybe I'll build a bridge or something across here at some point. But I don't know if the graylings are going to come after me from the water side. So they'll pretty much just come, be coming from that direction if they come after me at all. Um... So this might be a good first place, first first uh, first little home. Kind of like this. So let me go ahead and build a workbench. I think that's what Hugin said. Whoops, that is not a tool, or that's not a button that does something. Rotate is this. Okay. Oh, hello. Well met. Hi, Hugin. You've built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. I can see that. New building piece, all sorts of stuff. Yes. Cool. New build piece, wood gates. Uh, pet fences, walls, beds, chests, standing wood torches. Crafting station needs a roof. Okay. Um, cool. All right, I can start building. Hello? Well, that was easy. <laughs> this area rules. <laughs> the fish just jump out onto the rocks. There's a nice little river for me just to hang out by. What's this? Probably something great. I don't know. Okay. Um, furniture, crafting, whoa, 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 I'd like a, a little building, maybe, just to get us started, so that, the, especially since the, uh, crafting table needs a roof, um, so maybe a good first step would be, I think we're going to need a campfire, if I remember correctly. So maybe I'll go ahead and start by putting, just putting this somewhere. You mean, oh, there we go. Um, and maybe, can I make a bed? Not anymore. Okay, let's uh, start getting some more wood. Wood cutting improved. Okay. Is that going to be enough to make a bed? Tis. I don't know if I can just make a bed right outside, but we'll find out. I think it needs to be near a campfire. Yes, hello, Hugin. A uh, headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Claim. Bed needs a roof. Of course it does. Okay. Well, then, in that case... Well, maybe we'll just... Maybe I'll just build a little... Can I just build a little... Whoa, hi. Hey. What are you doing? If you're gonna roll up like that, you get the bonk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe we'll start with a floor then. Because I'm thinking maybe I'll build my house kind of like this. Sort of, uh... Really? You're not going to just... There we go. I don't know what kind of support buildings need in this game, but we'll find out. Missing requirement. Oh, I have no more wood. Okay, let me... 
move. Whoa! Okay, do I get all the resources back from that? I don't think I do. <laughs> Boom, bed. <laughs> that makes sense, right? But bed needs a roof, I know. All right, I think it's gonna get dark here in a second. Let's see if we can't uh, get some more wood and get ourselves a home. sort of home. At least a place to sleep. What do you want? I told your friend. Oh, don't land there. <laughs> that could have gone better. I guess it could have gone worse, but that was close to uh, my stuff. Boom. Okay. There's some more wood for now. I'm just trying to get a uh, maybe just get a, a roof on this on this at some uh, in some way or for, shape or form here. Uh, can I just do this? Dang it! I keep pressing R because I think that's gonna rotate. And it's not. Will that work? Bed is too exposed. Okay. How about now? Still too exposed? Why? Because it's missing an entire wall? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> What's wrong with missing entire walls? What's this? Oh, something I failed to pick up when I uh, killed that grayling. Seems like it splits damage. So like the damage you do, five, 5.4, 7 7.5. It seems like it splits that amongst everything you hit. Cold, yeah, I'll bet. What's up, Hugin? Well met. Hang on. What's up? Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Okay. I will do my best. But I need more wood. <laughs> what? Oh, my, my axe is broken. All right. Oh, and I can't make another one. That's doing zero. Perfect. Why can't I make another one? Because I'm out of wood? All right. Sticks it is, I guess. Boy. This game is pretty brutal at the beginning. Sorry, dear. I guess it's not. I'm just being sloppy. How much do I, what do I have? Two. I just need one more. Okay, and then I'm going to need some rocks. Come on. Uh, oh, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. I actually need five wood. I could, I could break some stuff apart, I suppose. What's this? What? Amber pearl? Cool. I don't know what that does. Or if I want one. But... I've got it. I found one. Um, there's not a lot of sticks around here. You could eat another bite. I could eat. I'd have a raspberry. Oh, that's a rock. There we go. A twig. Um, you feel cold. I know. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to feel less cold by building myself a house, but my axe is broken and my, uh, 
workbench doesn't work yet. <laughs> ah! What do you want? Can I have both? Oh, I can. Tremendous. Hey! Yeah, um, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> but... Because you didn't technically... Attack me. But I have a feeling you will... Oh, hello. This is like a whole clearing. Nice. Raspberries. Oh, bees? Uh-oh. I don't know if I want to mess with bees. But there is a chest with a torch or several torches, feathers. No, I just didn't realize how that works. Okay. We're good. Man, some... Just some branches would be nice. You'd think they'd be everywhere. In a fort. What's happening? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so we're not going to get very far <laughs> unless I can build another axe. Wait, here's one. Okay. Is that five? That's finally five wood. Now I just need a few more stone. I was finding all sorts of stuff on the other side of the river. Great. Now I'm going to find a ton of wood and I'm not going to find any stone. Isn't that always the way? Wait, down here is promising. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, stone axe. I need another one. Pretty sure you can repair stuff later, but right now, I don't think that's an option. Okay. Where'd that tree I, I knocked down go? Is that a bird? What's up, bird? What are you doing? Can I hit you with my club? No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> you were out of there like lightning. Cool. And that knocked down another tree. I love it. Oh, bye. Oh, okay. Wood cutting to 11. Nice. Okay. There's a little bit more wood. Let's see if that's enough to build to get this thing considered enclosed. Um, I suppose I'll need a door to be able to get in. <laughs> the tiniest house ever, but that was not right at all. Two wood. Did I get two wood back? I don't think I did. How about now? Is that... That is too exposed. How much less exposed do you need it to be? Alright. Uh, let's keep... Oh, I had this all along? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the worst little house ever. Alright, 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 alright. Eh. Dang it. I need stairs or something. <laughs> At least my jumping skill improved. Okay. Uh, okay, there's got to be a way to get this on here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then... Is that enough? No. I definitely need some... Some somethings here. There. Uh, there. There. And there. Okay. Surely it's not too exposed now. There we go. 
Sleep, bed needs a fire nearby. Okay. That we can do. How nearby is the question. Um... Stone five. So I got the stone back, but I didn't get the wood back. Okay. All right, let me see. There's another tree fell down over here. World save in 30 seconds. If you insist. Neato. All right, hopefully when I break this, it will do even more damage to surrounding trees and maybe knock down another tree. <laughs> oh, it didn't. Oh, well, that's all right. I got a little wood, so now we should be able to build a campfire. Let's see if I can just build it like right here. I really should build the door not on this this side. There we go. Nice. I slept. <laughs> we did it. After much work, we slept. Day two. All right. Not bad. Now we got a fire. Uh, this is not where any of this is going to go. But very glad we sort of got some of this taken care of. Look at that. I assume that's Yggdrasil. Or something similar. Um, Alright, so now we got to figure out a way to get presumably to get our Okay, what if I Okay, so to make a wall it takes two wood. Okay, I got two wood back. So I don't think you really lose anything when you destroy stuff. Okay, let me take that door down. Or do I? I don't know, actually. Why is there a gap right there? That's weird. <laughs> Did that not build properly? I guess it didn't. There we go. That's a little better, I think. Cool. All right, we did it. Um, so I'd like to build this a little bit bigger so that I can fit the workbench in it. And also, just so I can put other stuff. So uh, let's let's go chop a bit more wood while we're out here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a mushroom and another berry. And let's go chop some trees. Doo -doo -doo. Bam. Lots of extra stamina because of the food I ate, so that's real nice. That helps quite a bit. And once we start getting some more tools and stuff, maybe we'll hunt things that are a little bit more nourishing than uh, raspberries. Okay, I think I can chop these down. I might as well since they're already on the ground. Um, can I hunt boars with a club? Or will they run away from me? Whoa! Okay. I mean, technically that worked. And I got some... 
cool. I can build a raft? Incredible. What did I get? Some leather scraps. And it looks like that might be it. Leather scraps. So, unless I missed something here. I did, boar meat. Perfect. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, 42 wood. It's almost a full stack. So let's go ahead and see what we can make with 42 wood. What? Is that a deer? Dude. <laughs> Man, where the mists come in, they really come in. I'd like my house to come out this way and be accessible from here. So let's see if we can make it bigger this way. I'm not sure exactly when, if ever, it needs more support. I think then, that's when it needs more support. <laughs> so how about, can I do something like this? Little columns, will this help? Yes, it does. Cool. Okay. Nice. So you actually do have to support your structures. I like it. And then we can do stairs. There. Cool. And then I think I'll do wall. There. And we'll take these down. And then this will be our real door. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then a little bit of roof action here. Do -do -do. Okay. Very nice. Cool. Well, it's it's kind of it's small and cramped, but it is accessible, and I think I can now theoretically build uh, a workbench in here, like so. And now I should be able to use it. Nice. And now we can build all sorts of new stuff, I assume. We can upgrade stuff, and we can repair stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So I can just slam on this for a while, and I'll just repair anything that needs repairing. So now both of those axes are perfectly functional, which is awesome. And I don't think that costs anything, which is really cool. Um, so we can build... Um, arrows and bows. I think that's something I'm going to want to go towards pretty soon. Build a hoe, a shield. I can build some pants. But all of that's going to need leather. So I think that's a pretty good thing to do now. But let me see if I can't build myself a standing torch. Maybe there. So that our house is nice and lit up. Oh, also, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to a window, maybe. Oh, I built these backwards. Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> At some point, I think I'm gonna want this. Oh, is a window not an option? There's no windowed walls. I guess I could do a little half wall. Oh, not there. <laughs> there. And then I suppose I could do something like this. I guess I mean it look it looks like a window. I don't know if it has any detrimental effects on my 
my house's ability to be a house. All right, and then maybe let's see how much wood do I still have? Four. But that might allow me to build a little platform here, or maybe can I just build this here? Little thing there that'll allow me to uh, cook uh, my little boar meat that I got. I gotta keep an eye on it, cause if I remember correctly, it will burn. There it is. So now it's cooked, cooked boar meat. Mm mm mm. And that will give me some delicious, uh, some more hung, some even more stamina and health and stuff like that. Okay, I think that's a pretty good first episode uh, for Valheim. We got ourselves a little hut. Um, it's on a river, so hopefully we won't get attacked by too many things. I don't even know if that's really a huge concern or not, but here we are. We, I feel, I feel safer already. <laughs> All right, when I come back with more Valheim, we will uh, continue on. We'll maybe try to hunt a few more animals. I'd love a bow and arrow if that is an option, and I think I'm gonna have to kill a few more boars to do that. And also, you know, get more meat and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, maybe we'll work our way towards defeating Ike Fear, I think his name was. And yeah, we'll just uh, go from there. Thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you again. Have a good one. Okay, bye. Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.